Hello, welcome to episode three in a long series of videos to get you ready for the PMP exam. This is where we take down every letter of the alphabet as far as definitions are concerned. What I want you to do is use it as a checklist and ask the question, do I know what this is? Do I remember this thing? If you remember it, awesome, move on. If not, I need you to close those gaps before you exam. So today we're going to take a look at the letter D and E. Let's jump straight into it. Data analysis. It's a technique used to systematically examine data using analytical and logical reasoning to determine its meaning and implications. Data gathering techniques. A set of techniques used to generate ideas or alternatives explore possibilities or increase understanding of a particular issue or question. Data representation, a technique used to depict data visually or graphically. Now what you realize from these definitions so far is that I have made them extremely short. I have intentionally made them one sentence or thereabouts. Very different from the unwieldy definitions in the PMBOK guide. For more information about any of these, I highly recommend cross-checking with the PMBOK guide or other sources. Let's move on. Data validation. The process of ensuring that data inputs and outputs are correct and complete and that they comply with the requirements of the data model. Decision. A choice made from available alternatives using a defined process to achieve a specific goal or objective. Decision tree analysis, a technique used to evaluate multiple options by projecting possible outcomes and associated risk to visualize the decision-making process. Delegation, the act of assigning responsibility and authority for achieving specific outcomes to another person while retaining accountability for the results. Deliverable, any measurable, tangible, verifiable item produced as a result of completing a project or project phase. You hear a deliverable being referred to as a product, service, or result. So keep that in mind. Dependency, a logical relationship between two activities or between an activity and a milestone. Design of experiments, DOE, a statistical method to identify which factors may influence specific variables of a product or process under development or in production. Develop project charter, the process of developing a document that formally authorizes a project or a project phase. Develop project management plan, the process of defining, preparing, and coordinating all plan components and consolidating them into an integrated project management plan. Develop schedule, the process of analyzing activity sequences, durations, resource requirements, and schedule constraints to create the project schedule. Development approach, the planned, systematic, and repeatable process followed during the development of the project's product or service. Direct and manage project work, the process of leading and performing the work defined in the project management plan and implementing approved changes to achieve project objectives. Direct costs, costs that can be specifically identified with a particular project, program, or operation. Discrete effort, an activity that can be planned and measured and whose duration can be estimated using a defined methodology. Discretionary dependency, relationship based on best practices or desired sequence. Documentation reviews, gathering and reviewing information for accuracy and completeness. Duration, total work periods required for activity or component completion. Early finish date, EF, earliest possible completion based on schedule logic. Early start date, ES, earliest possible start based on schedule logic. Earn value, work performed expressed in authorized budget. You may also hear earn value being defined as 
the budgeted cost of work performed. Keyword being performed. Earned value management. Methodology combining scope, schedule, and resource measurements. Effort. Labor units needed to complete activity or component. Now you've got to remember effort is generally measured in some form of hours or similar. So when we talk about the effort needed to get a job done, it's usually in hours. Emotional intelligence. Ability to manage personal and group emotions. Enterprise environmental factors. External conditions that influence the project. Estimate. Quantitative assessment of project variables. Estimate activity durations. Estimating work periods needed for individual activities. Estimate activity resources. Estimating team resources and necessary supplies. Estimate at completion, EAC. The expected total cost for project completion. Estimate costs. Approximating monetary resources needed for the project work. Estimate to complete, ETC. Expected cost for remaining project work. Execute. Directing and performing project work, delivering results. Executing process group. Processes to complete project work. Expert judgment. Opinion based on specialized knowledge and experience. Explicit knowledge. Codified knowledge using symbols like words and numbers. External dependency. Relationship between project and non-project activities. And with that, my friends, we have come to the end of today's section. It's a bite at a time. I don't want to overwhelm you by reading 500 definitions, so I have broken them down into alphabetical order. We did A and B, then we did C, now we're doing D and E, and we're going to move accordingly. If you found value from this, hit the like button, subscribe, share with your friends, and hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when the next video is available. Go on down to the website praiseon.com if you need additional help in your project management or if you're looking for a course that can help demystify the PMBOK guide and the PMP exam or CAPM exam for you. Thank you very much and bye for now.